Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. From time to time, you sometimes need to put something together. And no better person in putting some things together here at Sirenet is our good friend Chris. And right now, Chris is going to put together an L31, which is a beacon available from Whelan, available here on Sirenet, and the bottom portion, which is otherwise known as the pipe tread area. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. It's so nice to be able to take some fine components like these and show you how they're going to go together so when you're in the field putting your rig together you got a first-hand look at what you're getting yourself into. The L31 series beacon from Wheelan Engineering typically in applications is going to be flat mounted so with that flat surface beacon would be mounted on the flat surface hole would be drilled for the wiring harness to go through and to secure the beacon onto your application on the bottom of the beacon here you can see one two three mounting screw holes so bolts screws rivets however you want to affix it to a flat surface well if that's just not going to work for you mounting it on a flat surface that is the l360 pm kt better known as the l series pipe mount kit that wheel and offers to upgrade the beacons for a one inch standard thread twist on mount Nice thing is it'll fit any of the L31 series or L32 series. The unit itself is cast, so it'll look nice and handle the outside climate for years to come. For mounting it, pretty straightforward, fixes onto the bottom of the beacon with the three square holes you see here. Included with the pipe mount is a bit of install hardware that I have here. It's a series of caps, screws, and square retainers. Pretty straightforward how these are going to install onto the bottom of the beacon. Start the process, take the square, pop it into the square hole. You can see, easy pops into place. There you have it. Pipe mount here. Take the wiring harness, route it through the center hole. And you can see the lip here will match with the inset on the beacon base. Just go ahead, put that on. Just spin it around to match up the hole with the screws. So we'll take the three stainless steel screws and secure these in. Third screw. There you have it. Pipe mount firmly affixed to the base. The pop caps here fit into the holes where you would use for the flat mount install. So with that, pop these in place. It'll keep any grit, grime, or condensation from getting in from the bottom through the holes here. Pretty straightforward. Pop them into place. You can see nice and flush. So as far as your cosmetics go, very clean, very well put together. Now from an install point, one inch thread, standard pipe, 
whatever length you need. Go ahead, route the wiring through the center of the pipe fixture and thread the beacon right onto it. So with that, rather than having to take, make your own pipe, well, not make your own pipe, get a pipe, whatever length, having to put a flat surface on top of it, which can be a little bit tricky or just a bit of extra time to have to do in the shop, well, take it the one inch standard thread, fix it to the vehicle as appropriate, thread this onto the base. Put together Wheel and Engineering's L31, the pipe mount that's available for it as well. Thanks for watching. Back to you, Stuart. Well, it goes to show when you need a plumber at Sirenet, we probably should call Chris. So there you have it, the putting together of the L31 with the pipe thread mount. I'm Stuart. Thanks for watching Sirenet Television.